What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here, with yet another video. In this video we'll be testing the Intel HD Graphics 630, which is a typical integrated GPU by Intel. It has 24 unified shaders, a burst frequency of 1100 MHz, it uses system RAM as VRAM of course, and I'm using the latest drivers for it as of the making of the video. As for CPU power we have this CPU. Don't worry about bottlenecks from it cause I guess it's a high quality one as its name suggests. I also undervolted it by minus 100 megavolts. We also have 8 gigabytes of RAM in single channel mode. Although 4GB should also be enough for the game that we'll be playing today. As well as a 1TB HDD as the main drive. No SSD. And another 1TB one on which the game that we'll be running today is installed. As for operating system we're using Atlas OS 20H2. You can find a full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4. Another request from the Intel seller in N2840 days. Of course shout out to the guy who requested it, and yeah, let's get straight to the point now. In this benchmark video, I'll be doing something slightly different from the usual. So, the Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm games are programmed to run at locked 30 FPS. You could use 60 FPS mode, however that will break a few gameplay related element. Otherwise though, the speed of the games depend on the FPS. Meaning that if the FPS are lower than 30, you will experience slow motion, and that's not what you want in a fast paced Naruto fighting game. That's why throughout almost all of the benchmarking today, I will be trying out settings that ensure the game isn't running in slow motion.
Sergeant! I'll leave the rest to you.
protect your bond with me? Looks like you're still a child, not at all. Burn out! The picture has been decided! Overall, pretty good, right? Well, now let's try to do some, spoiler alert, low end tweaking. I pretty much borrowed the tweaking method from this dude, but I will still show you how to potentially solve your slow motion problems in Naruto Storm 4. So first of all, download the HXD Hex Editor from the link that I will provide in the video description. After downloading the app, open it, but before proceeding to the next steps, please back up the Naruto Storm 4 main executive file and the config.ini file in the main game folder. In case you want to revert the changes later, in the Hex Editor, open the Naruto Storm 4 executive from the main game folder of course. Then go to search, and find, the first value that we have to find is Peppery. Just like that. Now, see that draw shadow value that I'm hovering my cursor over, and those numbers and letters on the left, you want to mark the whole Peppery draw shadow value, and on the left, these are the numbers and F letters that we must change from whatever they are set to all to zeros just like how I'm doing it. So there we go, now do the same thing that we just did right now for the Nukchunk particle value. And the particle draw thread 1. Save the changes, and we are done with this part. Now the second part of the ordeal is with the config file. Copy those values that I will provide in the description. Open the config.ini file, and paste them to the screen setting section of the config. 
Now, the low-end config mod will set the resolution to 800 by 600. However, if you want a different resolution, feel free to change the width and height values to your desired resolution. For example, I think now that we have tweaked the game, we can probably push for 900p resolution.